With a call for accountability, public housing tenants gathered on the steps of City Hall today demanding NYCHA do more to improve their living conditions. As CBS 2's Kevin Rincon shows us, some tenants say they've been living without the basics like heat and hot water. Living conditions inside some NYCHA apartments are unimaginable. It's gross. It's nasty. July, August, September, no refrigerator, no stove. I take them my receipts that want to credit to me. I'm on Social Security. I can't eat credit. Tenants rallied on the steps of City Hall, hoping to get help. They say they've tried their best to go through the appropriate channels, but with no luck. If you have to deal with this every morning, that kills your spirit. Yeah. It makes people not want to do. Mm. It makes people give up. We've seen leaking issues before. Mold, cracked paint, apartments without heat, hot water, or gas. NYCHA says these deteriorating buildings are the direct result of decades of disinvestment by all levels of government. It is the case that the federal, state, and city governments all have underfunded NYCHA for a very long time. But he says there's simple things that can be done with the resources available that are not being addressed. Due to poor management and neglect, they continue to live in these conditions. Council member Carlina Rivera recently toured public housing units in her district. She told me. She wants one thing, and it's to feel normal for somebody to hear her. And tenants, they don't want to have to pack up and leave. Why should I go somewhere else? I pay my rent. I pay my bills. Why are they not doing anything for me? Why am I living in a lagoon? Her home is prone to flooding. Chanel White has had a bathtub covered in mold. Cleaning isn't enough to stop it from forming again. This is messing me up. Look at my hair. All my hair gone. All my hair fell off. Worrying. Worrying, I'm falling out. They're scared to take a bath in the house. NYCHA says it takes about 49 days to handle non emergency repairs, but Council Member Rivera says the real wait time is closer to 300 days. Meanwhile, the time it takes tenants to get someone over the phone to hear their complaint has nearly tripled in the last two years to 41 minutes. Outside City Hall, Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News. And NYCHA is requesting $40 billion for capital repairs.